Hi, this is Laura on the Customer Success Team here at Keela. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate your GoDaddy domain with Keela using the SendGrid integration. As my first step, I'm gonna log into my Keela account and I'm gonna go to my organization settings and integrations. From here, I'm gonna scroll down to SendGrid and click connect. And this is where I'm gonna enter my email domain. The domain I'll be connecting today is keelacares.org. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And I'm going to verify that this is the domain that I'd like to connect. You can now see that the SendGrid integration is pending. This means that I need to go into my DNS settings within GoDaddy to make some updates. To find the updates that I need to make, I'm gonna click Actions, Verify Domain, and here's all the different settings that I'm gonna to add to my GoDaddy account. Let's go ahead and jump into GoDaddy and make those changes. Sign into your GoDaddy account. Now that I'm in my GoDaddy account, I can see a list of all my domains. I'm gonna find the domain that I'd like to integrate. Go ahead and click on that domain. Once I've selected the domain that I would like to update from my domain list, I'm gonna scroll down within those domain settings. And I'm gonna click Manage DNS. Here's a list of all my existing DNS records. You'll probably have some already as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll to the very bottom and you can see this big button add. And I'm gonna go ahead and add those DNS records that were provided in Keela to my GoDaddy account. So click add, the type. Now let's go back to the account and double check. We have three CNAME records and one MX. So let's start with the C name. Again, checking my Keela account, host, Keela emails. And you can click this button just to quickly copy, paste, points to. I'm gonna go ahead and click save because I've included all the information. I'm gonna click add. We have two more C name records to add. Okay, so I have the three C name records. Last record that we need to add is an MX record. There we go. And you'll notice that this one has a new field called priority. And surprise, we also have priority here. So make sure you put that as a 10. And there we go. So now that we've added our MX records and we've copied and pasted them exactly as they show in Keela, I'm gonna go back into Keela and I'm gonna verify the domain. Okay, now that you've added your DNS records into GoDaddy, we're gonna go back to the Keela account. We're gonna go to the organization settings, integrations, and scroll down to set grid. Actions, and we're gonna go ahead and click Verify Domain. This is what we would have put it to GoDaddy, and click Verify. And there we go, we're all connected. So one last step that you need to take is you go to Organization Settings. From here, we're gonna go to uh, Profile, well, we'll automatically be on that page. We're gonna take a look at the Outbound Settings. Right now, they're still set to the default Keela domains. Go ahead and click Edit, and you're gonna change that to your own domain here. Click Save. 
And then each of your users in Kila will also need to go to their personal settings. Same thing in the profile, look for the Kila email settings and make that update to your domain. That's all. Congratulations. Your SendGrid has been integrated and you can now send emails from Kila using your own domain.